What's up, everybody? Joe Brown here. This is the Heresy Financial Show, and today we are talking about a recent tweet from Selective Service and uh, the fact that it looks like the federal government might be gearing up, trying to prep the United States citizenry for another draft. Ready? Let's dive in. I just finished reading a book by Scott Horton called Enough Already. It's time to end all these endless wars. And I cannot recommend this book enough. Absolutely fantastic and uh, really timely here, especially with what is going on around the world right now. How for decades, the United States government has constantly sought to get involved in wars that it doesn't need to be involved in and either directly or indirectly slaughtered hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people all around the world in the name of a ridiculous uh, new empire of debt that doesn't benefit anybody. And now as the war machine rages on and we are looking over the brink at the abyss of potentially the biggest war in modern history with the United States and Russia. This is the last thing that any sane person on this planet should want. The two biggest nuclear powers on earth starting to get into a fight. This is not a good thing. However, looks like the federal government is starting to drip on the American people, starting to say, hey, just in case we might need to think about going big here and getting people ready thinking about a draft. The Selective Service tweeted out, in the event of a draft, our agency would partner with FEMA to provide opportunities to conscientious objectors to ensure our nation keeps moving forward. Learn more about alternative service at our website. Now, this is uh, partnering with FEMA so that if somebody says, you know, hey, I'm, you know, getting drafted here, but for whatever reason, whether it's religious or for another reason, I, uh, I'm opposed to actually going to war, then you would be forced into one of these other forms of service instead, and uh, they would use FEMA to find a job for you. Now, the thing that's important to know about this, though, is that it's not automatic. If you get drafted, it's up to them whether they accept your or request to not have to go to war, regardless of your moral or religious uh, objections to going to war. You have to submit a request and then get approved. Now, first of all, our founding fathers were absolutely against conscription. And in a truly decentralized, a true, uh, the, the, the way the Constitution designed the United States to operate, it was a bottom up democracy and republic. It was not a top down one. That meant the states were in control of the federal government, not the other way around. It meant the individuals were in charge of the state, not the other way around. And they were adamantly opposed to a draft, not a good thing. But when you have a federal government that number one, has a monopoly on the creation of money, they can use that in order to have a monopoly on violence because they can fund it, which means that if they want to conscript you into the military service and force you into participating in that violence, they can by if if you don't uh, if you don't uh, agree using that violence against you. And yes, imprisonment is violence. It is a form of aggression using physical aggression and violence in order to force you to do what they they want you to do, which in this case would be either stay in prison or go fight on the front lines. It is absolutely monstrous and one is one of the one of the worst outcomes of a government that has a monopoly on the creation of money, especially one that has been able to become so large and powerful and dominant due to the fact that they've become the, uh, the they've, they've got a monopoly on the creation of money basically for the entire world since the entire world uses the dollar as its reserve currency. Now, I wanna be clear. I am not making a pacifist case that says violence or aggression is wrong. I'm saying that the initiation of violence against somebody is wrong. Self-defense or the defense of others, even if you have to use violence or aggression, I don't believe is wrong. Some people do, I do not. But there is a big difference, number one, between going to war and initiating violence against other people and volunteering to go defend somebody else from violence. Those are two different things. 
Another thing that is very different is advocating to force others to go initiate violence against somebody else without you being on the front lines yourself. It is absolutely immoral to be somebody who is advocating to send somebody else force them into violent action against somebody else when you are not on the front lines yourself. If you're not the one on the front line saying, come join me, you have no moral ground to stand on to say that somebody else should go do it themselves. And to anybody watching this video, I very much appreciate you because this is not a video that is getting pushed out. I had to actually check boxes on the settings of this video to make sure that I don't get a strike against me for saying these things, which means that YouTube is not pushing this video out to what new viewers. The only reason that this video popped up for you is because YouTube for whatever reason knows that you watch a lot of my videos or maybe this kind of content they know you really enjoy, but it is not getting pushed out. This is not gonna get a lot of views and you're probably noticing there weren't any ads on this if or many if any, probably no monetization on this video. And so this is a very unpopular message. Very, very few people on the left, very, very few people on the right want to be against war. For whatever reason, the political elite love war on both sides. It's a massive money-making military industrial machine that just keeps on plowing forward and they'll do whatever we, they can to keep this country involved in every single endless war it can until it cannot no longer, which my fear is that that point at which it cannot any longer is when it finds itself involved in a conflict with somebody that is maybe unstable and has the capacity to unleash massive pain, AKA nukes, and no problem using that force. Not a picture that I wanna see unfold. As always, thank you so much for watching and on a video like this, if you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it. If you would share it with somebody else that you think would enjoy it as well, since I know YouTube won't be doing that for you. As always, thanks again, have a good day.